Welcome back. Problem 6-20. This problem is taken from chapter number 6 and that is bending and book name is Mechanics of Material by R.C. Hibbler. So statement is draw the shear and movement diagram for the beam. Here it is written as overhanging beam but it is not overhanging beam. It is simply supported beam. So this is the beam AB clear and there is a pin support at point A and a roller support at point B. And there is a triangular load from A till length of 12 feet from this end a which is uh, 3 kips per feet so here the load is 3 kips per feet here this is 0 so we have to draw the shear and movement diagram for the beam so let's start with the solution so if you remove this uh, support at pin support at point a so you will be having a reaction force like this is r a and if you remove this uh, roller support at point b so you you will be having a reaction force rb so pin support at a and roller support at point b so we will find this ra and rb by using equation of equilibrium so first equation of equilibrium is that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero and upward force is taken as positive so you can see ra and rb which are acting upward so i will write ra plus rb and you can see this third load is triangular load so we will convert this triangular load into point load so i will write 1 over 2 3 kips per feet into length 12 feet so that will give you 18 12 12 3, 36 divided by 2 is 18 so it is 18 kip load and this will act at a distance of L by 3. So L is 12. So 12 by 3 is 4 feet. So from this side. And this remaining will be equal to 8 feet. So I will write minus this 18 kips load is equal to 0. So it means that RA plus RB is equal to 18 that this is your equation number one now we'll apply another equation of equilibrium that sum of all moments about point a is equal to zero taking the counterclockwise moment as positive so about point a one moment will be due to this load which is 18 kips into perpendicular distance is eight and this is producing clockwise moment that will be negative clear and the second moment will be due to this rb into perpendicular distance is 18 and this is producing counterclockwise movement so it will be positive and the sum of their all this movement about point a will be equal to zero so i will write rb into 18 which is counterclockwise minus uh, 18 into 8 is equal to zero so it means that 18 rb is equal to 18 multiplied by 8 so from here you will get rb will be equal to 8 kip now you have this rb is equal to 8 so put rb is equal to 8 kip in equation 1 so you will get ra will be equal to 18 minus 8 will be equal to 10 kip now you have r a and r b so what we are going we are going to define the shear and movement functions let me choose another color shear and movement function for different region there so first we will define it for x is greater than or equal to 0 and less than 12 feet so it means that x is here 0 and x is here 12 so in between this region we will cut this beam so if i cut it in this region clear at any point for example at this point and draw the free body diagram so it will be like this this is the beam clear here you have r a which is 10 kips this is distance x where you cut it and there is a 
uniformly decreasing load at this points there and when you cut it you will be having a shear force v and there will be a moment m as well now what will be the magnitude over here which is w so you can see you have two similar triangle one is this one player and the second is this one so what if we take the ratio of their side 3 is this one clear 3 is this one so 3 divided by total its length 12 will be equal to here the magnitude will be w so w divided by x so from here we will get w is equal to 3x divided by 12 which means that x by 4 clear so here w is equal to x by 4 kips per feet Okay, now we will find this w, M and V by using equation of equilibrium. So if you convert this triangular load into a point load, so it will be equal to magnitude, which is one, uh, which is X by four. This is one over two into X by four into the length over which it act, that is X, clear? And that will act at a distance of x by 3 from this side. And this remaining will be 2x by 3. Now we will apply equation of equilibrium that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to 0 and upward force is taken as positive. So you can see v is downward. So minus v minus this load 1 over 2 into x by 4 into x is equal to 0 and there is also 10 load which is upward so i will write plus 10 over here so from here v will be equal to 10 plus 10 minus x square over 8 and unit will be kips that this is your equation number a clear now i'll find this movement, so sum of all movement, let this is point O, about point O is equal to zero and taking the counterclockwise movement as positive. So about this point O, one moment will be due to this load into perpendicular distance is X by three and this is producing counterclockwise movement, so it will be positive. The second movement will be this counterclockwise, which is external movement and the third movement will be 10 into perpendicular distance is X and this is producing clockwise, so it will be negative so i will write the sum must be equal to zero so m is positive plus one over two into x by four into x into perpendicular distance x by three and minus 10 into x will be equal to zero so m when you solve this you will get m is equal to 10 x minus x cube over 24 and the unit will be kips into feet that this is equation number b now equation a and b are valid for x is greater than or equal to 0 and less or e less than or equal to 12 feet so again now here we will take another section at this point so this distance total is 18 feet and let this distance is x so this remaining distance will be equal to 18 minus x so we will focus on this portion clear and we will draw the free body diagram so for for region for region x is greater than 12 feet and less are equal to 18 feet the free body diagram will be like this so at point b we have 8 kips load this is point b so 8 kips load and when you cut it you will be having a shear force here upward clear and there will be a movement as well this distance is 
et minus x now we'll find this shear force v and m by using equation of equilibrium so sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero and upward force is taken as positive so v upward plus this eight is upward is equal to zero so v is equal to minus eight kip clear so it means that your shear force is minus eight at this point now we'll find this moment that sum of all moment let this is your point um this this is your point uh, e so let sum of all moment about point e is equal to zero and taking the counterclockwise moment as positive so external moment which is clockwise that is minus m and this due to this load 8 into perpendicular distance is 18 minus x and it will be counterclockwise it is positive so mine plus 8 into 18 minus x will be equal to 0 so from here this moment will be equal to 8 into 18 minus x and the unit will be kip into feet this is your equation number 3 and this is your equation number 4 so equation 3 and 4 are valid for x is greater or equal to 0 and less are sorry 12 feet and less less are equal to 18 feet so using this equation we will draw the shear force and bending moment diagram so for that i will draw the line from the end of this beam for example this is the line on the end of this beam and from here you will be also having a line clear now you will draw a horizontal line to show x in feet and here on y axis you have shear force in kip let each division is of 5 so 5 10 similarly minus 5 minus 10 okay now for x is equal to 0 for i will write over here for x is equal to 0 put in equation number equation 1 so you will get this is equation number a sorry a not 1 in this so you will get v is equal to 10 so your first point will be this one on shear force at x is equal to this is this point is 12 feet here 12 feet so at x is equal to 12 feet put in equation number a so when you put it in this equation this is the equation so you will get shear force will be minus 8 so at this point you have this is that this is minus 8 this point is minus 8 and at uh, this this equation can be used for x is greater or equal to 0 and less or equal to 12 now from for this side we will use this equation v is equal to minus 8 kips so here greater than 8 it will remain same till minus 8 and at end you can see you have plus rb which is plus 8 now you can see that this shear force uh, sorry this uh, triangular load is downward and this is first degree line so bending moment will uh, shear force will be second degree curve and the slope will be decreasing it will be like this okay and then moving from 12 feet to and there is no other any shear force so shear force will remain same and at point b we have rb which is upward plus 8 so this will be your shear force diagram now you can see here the shear force is zero there at this point so we'll find this location so what we will do is that put v is equal to zero in equation a so you will get 0 is equal to 10 minus x square over 8 and when you solve this you will get x will be equal to 8.944 feet so this means that 
this point is 8.944 feet where shear force is zero and at this point the bending moment will be the maximum now we will draw the bending moment diagram so for bending moment diagram i will take a horizontal line which shows x in feet and here you will be having moment then unit will be kips into feet let each one is of 5 10 10 kips 10 20 30 40 50 and this one is 60 so at x is equal to 0 at x is equal to 0 put in equation number b equation b is for moment for region x is greater than uh, 0 and less are equal to two feet so movement will be equal to zero so your first point will be this one now at x is equal to this length x is equal to 8.944 feet put in equation number b so you will get the maximum bending moment and that maximum bending moment will be equal to 59.6 kips into feet so we'll plot that point let this is the point so 59 point will be somewhere here 59.96 now 59.6 kips into inch now at distance of 12 feet put x is equal to 12 feet in equation b so you will get moment will be equal to 48 so at x 48 with this point that this is 48 clear now we will apply region x is greater than 12 and less than 18 so put x is equal to 18 in equation number 4 this is the equation number 4. So 18 minus 18 will be equal to 0. So movement is equal to 0. So it means that x is equal to 18 inch. You will have movement 0. Okay. Now you can see shear force is a second degree curve. So bending movement will be also a third degree because there is a cube and this slope is decreasing. Clear? This, this slope is from this region till this region the slope is decreasing but this area is positive so bending uh, uh, bending movement will be a third degree curve and it will be like this some it will be somewhat like this it will be a curve okay now again you can see this is this shear force is a curve of second degree so bending movement will be like this it will be like clockwise in clockwise direction okay and here you can see that the shear force is a horizontal line with zero degree so bending movement will be one degree higher and since this is negative area so slope will be decreasing and it will be a linear line joining these two points straight line clear okay so this length is 8.94 feet this length is 12 feet here this length is 18 feet and this is zero and that is your bending moment diagram so this was all about this problem 6-20 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it uh, those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching